everybody, this is Jason with Lone Star Catfish. Pretty, uh, pretty simple plan today, which is there really was no plan. I just wanted to come out here, fish along this shoreline. Uh, I came down a little bit farther to hit um, some more of these drop-offs that are down here. I'm sitting at about seven foot of water right now. Uh, and per my, my previous trips, what I'm doing is I got my rod here on my right. Um, I've got a really big hook, like an 8 dot double action circle with a nice big uh, fresh uh, tilapia head on it. And then the, the two poles on my left are back to my 4 and 5 odd double actions with just you know smaller pieces of cut shad. Um, I'm actually seeing some good activity on the scope. Um, all sitting down there between that 5 and 7 foot range, which should be where my baits are setting. Um, so I'm hopeful that I'll be able to put some fish in the boat. Um, but again, it's just, it's a beautiful day to be out here, so uh, I want to take advantage of that. Pretty good fish here. I've not got a good look at him yet. He's taking me for a ride, though. Pretty good blue. Pretty good blue. Whew. Oh. Good morning. That's a good fish right there. Boy, and that was on just my smaller piece of shad on the smaller hook. I'm not too sure how well he's hooked. Yeah, it's decent, but it definitely wouldn't have wanted to fight him a whole lot longer. All right, let's get a length on him. All right, he's just shy of 28 inches. He's a thick boy. Look at that, though. He has been feeding well. All right, so let's get another good picture of him. There we go, just about 27 and three quarter. First fish of the day. Not bad at all. That's why I keep these things on a leash. <laughs> he would have taken my grips and everything. See you, buddy. There he goes. Love that right out of the gate. Already, already a good day. This guy has got me tangled up. I, uh, I might have two hooks in this guy. All right. Oh, he's getting me soaking wet. <laughs> oh. I mean, he was just boiling water in this Okay, all right, we are free. Oh, all right, so there's the cause of all the trouble. Well, he took that down, he went straight under the kayak, went straight into this line over here, spun around it about 15 times, and then he just came up next to the boat like, okay, I'm done. All right. You know what, he's so close to that last fish I would not be surprised if it's the same fish. I mean, he is almost identical in length. Boy, it'd be amazing if there was some way, some mark on him that would let me tell. But that looks a lot like the same fish. But, you know what? I'll take it ten more times. That's fine. Keep coming back. 
I got more bait for you, buddy. That was a mess. All right. There he goes. Still not happy. I feel like I've got a fish on here. I think he's been on there a while, just a little guy. He was trying to sneak in while I was dealing with these bigger fish. <laughs> All right. Not quite as exciting as the others, but a fish. All right, there's number four. Not bad. A little spoiled with those first two. And he's in that 15 inch range, so that's a good fish. Definitely a good eating fish, but not today. So back to the small ones again. Uh, the rain is kind of coming on and off, just drizzling. I've got the baggie over the uh, camera. I don't know how good the picture is. Um, still seeing signals down there, but I'm, you know, action's kind of dying a little bit, so give this a little bit more time and then I might slide back up this bank. Um, my goal is to work back towards, uh, you know, my, my landing point uh, throughout the day so that if it does really start raining or something, I will only get, you know, kind of wet. So, all right. we go. It's been a bit of a drought, but I got that guy there. Jeez. All right, he's, he's just about 23 and a half. Yeah, 23 and a quarter, 23 and a half. Good fish, good fish. All right, another look at him. Good fish, about 23 and a quarter. There he goes. Whoa! Oh. There's something about this rod today. Not want to open up. All right, another good fish. I'll tell you that that rod back there. Something about it they like. I've caught every decent fish on that rod. About 25 and a half, maybe 25 and three quarters. So another really solid fish. So I'm starting what has <laughs> become somewhat of my traditional drift. Um, you know, I've been sitting down along this bank. I, I've, I've anchored, I've drifted a little bit, I've moved, I've caught some good fish. Um, it's getting later in the day and I wanna start moving back towards the house. So I've pulled up the anchor. The wind is picking up just enough here um, that I think it's gonna start moving me back towards the house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get all these lines reeled up prepared for that three, four, five foot fishing. Um, and I'm gonna drift until 
uh, I either run out of time or um, I get back to shore. Bit of a drought. Another fish. Nice fish. Put up a hard fight for sure. Let's see if I even need to expand the board for him. Easy, buddy. Yeah, no, he's. He's just over the end of the board, so I'll put him real close to 20 inches. Well, I tell you what, all but what, one fish? has come on this back rod. There's just really no rhyme or reason to it. That's a good fish right there. Fun fight. It woke me up a little bit. I was daydreaming. There we go. Oh. Well, he might just take me home if I let him. some drag. Got himself all wrapped up. Okay, well that was interesting. All right, there's your double right there. Mama and baby. Let's get a couple lengths on these. <laughs> I have to hold this guy down with my foot. All right. Mama here is just under 25. Another great fun fight. Get a look at that one. Really nice fish. All right, put you back. Easy, easy, easy. There you go. All right. All right. This guy about twenty and a half. Stab me a couple times, but I'll be all right. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Second half of the double. That was fun, y'all. We'll keep doing that. That's a pretty good sized fish, but they are not getting that hook in their mouth.
Oh, whoa. It's a big fish. I actually saw him, saw him come up right there. Saw the little blue cat. I've been uh, been watching this line over here with my big bait, and something is working hard on it, but it hasn't quite got in its mouth. And this guy suddenly went down. So really, there's something big after this line, and he's he's actually surfaced a couple times, but I've got so little line out. I'm not really giving him a chance to swim off with it. I got to figure out what I'm going to do about that. But let's get him back and get this line reset. Okay, everybody, I am going to call this next fish last fish. Um, I've got, you know, probably less than two hours before this front hits. There is rain in the area, and I'm seeing, I just checked the radar. You know, I, I'm really just fortunate that I haven't gotten hit so far. I can see around me some storms off in the background. So I'm going to try to get into one more fish here. I'm hoping it's going to be on this rod because that means it's a big fish. Um, and then I'm going to pack it up and I'm going to start paddling. Uh, and get out of here. So uh, it's been a great day. I definitely can't complain about that. Um, with the exception of maybe four uh, fish, they've all been over 20 inches. Um, and so that has, uh, that's been fun. Um, got that one double not long ago. You know, I got rods in my lap and fish on my feet and, you know, trying to pull in uh, more fish. So that's, uh, those are fun times. And so, uh, like I said, t today was a day with really no plan. I came out and I was just going to go along the uh, the bank of these islands. I went as far south as I was willing to go and I just started working my way back up, you know, uh, throwing the anchor down from time to time, um, but otherwise mostly just drifting. There's not been a lot of wind, um, just using my backwater paddle here to kind of control myself. Um, you know, I've worked myself at least a third of the way back to my launch point, so at least when I do pack up, I won't have as far to go. and. Um, like I said, it's been a great day, um, and this, you know, I know I went out last weekend, which was technically my first trip of 2020, but this is kind of my first big um, trip of 2020, and uh, definitely started off well for this year. Uh, my, my goal and my hope is to do more of this, get into the bigger fish, um, and, you know, just keep hitting these spots that I'm having some luck and see how they change with the seasons. So, um Hopefully, like I said, we can get one more fish in the boat, um, and then I'm going to head to the house. Maybe got this one right going right here. It might be the last one of the day. Feels like he might be on there and just small. I'll go ahead and pick up on this because I think he's on there. Yeah, he just nothing. Nothing to him. All right, well, I called the next fish last fish. That wasn't what I had in mind. Um, I am starting to see some raindrops coming. Um, so I know uh, I don't want to, but I think I'm going to just pack it up here and head to the house. All right, guys, all the f poles are in the boat. Uh, I'm done. Um, I seem to have beat this weather. I don't know if you can see that um, out behind me. Kind of turn the kayak. If you can, uh, you can see back behind me it does not look good um, so uh, I've been lucky so far but I'm not gonna press it I'm done uh, it's been great I'll see you guys next time